Being in business is boring. And most of the things that you can buy after you become rich through your business are just not worth it. They're not gonna give you the happiness and contentment that you seek in life. So how can you solve this riddle? How can you show up at work driven, not motivated to do your absolute best work and feel like that work matters by becoming the absolute best at the game of being you? Welcome back. Hey, I'm Liam, CEO and founder of Submasha, a peak performance training company that transforms entrepreneurs into elite performers they can achieve in one day what they previously achieved in one week. I've coached and trained hundreds of entrepreneurs and invested in 37 of them. So they want to talk about something that does not get discussed enough from the perspective of someone who is willing to truly grow a big business and is the nature of purpose. Why you do what you do and why that is meaningful to you. Because listen, purpose truly is the ultimate competitive advantage you have in business. But most importantly, it is what's going to give meaning to your life, which is what you ultimately want. Chances are that you decided to start a business because you wanted freedom, because you wanted to escape from a life that didn't seem meaningful to you. So meaning is at the core of everything you do, even if you do not believe it is, even if you get distracted by shiny objects and you, for whatever reason, entertains fantasies about making a lot of money, buying a lot of cars or buying a lot of watches. That's not the point of being alive. That's not the point of being in business. But then what's the point? Why do we do what we do? because of purpose, because of the things that we intrinsically are wired to like. The things that truly give meaning to our life are those that we have been are wired to seek. And we have been wired to seek them based on the information that got downloaded in our subconscious in the first seven years of our life. At that moment in time, pretty much all the information in the environment that we got from the places we were, from the authority figures that were around us, got downloaded in the subconscious. Because at that time, the brain is super plastic, in essence, it's changing very fast to accommodate for the new information. So within that huge volume of information, there's games that you decided to start playing that became a part of who you are. There's things that you were around you that shaped who you eventually became. And that is the thing that you're actually wired to like and that is what purpose lies but that is not enough everything I just said applies to purpose and passion right but purpose goes beyond passion in the sense that passion is selfish passion is something you like and you like because you've decided to like it but it has no ulterior motive you do not feel like that thing is helping you connect with other in any shape or form. Purpose is an outwards directed passion, something you like, something you truly enjoy, that by doing it, you have a positive effect on others. Because we humans are social animals. We need others because we build our character, our personalities based on what others think. So we need others and purpose is how we can give back to them, even if we do not realize. And I've noticed time and time again throughout my career as an investor and a coach that those entrepreneurs that truly felt connected with something beyond the mere act of making money made the most money. Those that created a business because they truly felt like they had some sort of gift that they could bring to the world and help others through that gift ended up making the most money, living the best lives and in essence living a friction free business building journey because they were not hustling. They were in essence leaving their purpose. And why is that? Why do some people show up at work extremely motivated and do not go through the prototypical friction others have to go through? Why do some people need to hustle endlessly in order to build a functional business and others just do what needs to be done, what it needs to be done, and they get the results without much friction? Because the hustlers are externally motivated. They are hustling, not because they enjoy the hustle, but because that hassle is going to let them get closer to pleasure, to something they want or away from pain, which are limbic system or the basis motivator there are. But those that don't hustle are tapping into their intrinsic motivation, are tapping into 
doing the things they want to do because they enjoy the things and they feel connected with the consequences that doing that thing at the mastery level has for others. So they do not need to bargain with themselves in order to get work done. They do not need to force themselves to show up every day. They do not feel like work is a chore. They understand that work is a privilege. And this is truly the ultimate competitive advantage in business, which is why one of the most important questions you need to ask yourself when building a business is, could I be doing this a hundred years? Could I do this a hundred years of my life? Could I devote my entire life to this? And if the answer is no, don't do it for one day because the incentives that are going to motivate you are not the right ones. If you cannot see your life without doing what you're doing, if what you're doing is a core trait of your personality, if you have architected your sense of meaning around your service you provide through your business, then you've won, my friend. Then no one will be able to defeat you because you will be operating from a place of purpose. So if right now you're not going through a good times, if you feel that things just take long to materialize, you're just not having the results you normally would expect, pause and ask yourself, would you be able to do this for a hundred years? If you could, of course, figure it out, right? Is the vehicle you're not traveling worth a hundred years of effort? If the answer is yes, you've won. Keep going. You'll eventually figure it out. Everything is figured out if we are operating from a place of purpose. So if the answer is yes, congratulations, you're already far ahead than most people. But if the answer is no, then you may want to start looking elsewhere. You may want to start building something you truly feel connected with. See you in the next lesson.